Hey everyone, so this is a very interesting game token Renbu, which is by Nitro Plus, which also you can play in DMM. Um, for any other information about the game uh, or how to play the game itself, you can find it on the wiki, which I will be putting on the description box. Basically, what I'll do here is for players who are still confused, new players rather, who are confused about the game. Uh, just a quick introduction so that there would be more players and this game gets more popular. So here we go. Token Land! Token Land! Hajimari desu yo! Kyo wa nani suru ndesu ka? Shikun! Jibun, yaru ki nai no ga uri desu kara na. So here we are, and basically this is all about the game. Um, for other things uh, like what to do and those things, I guess I'll be making a separate video for those to make sure that everyone understands what the game is all about. So I'll just go ahead and introduce everything on this page first. So this is my captain, which you can change to any other sword that you want. Next, uh, this part here, um, if you want to look at the background and you don't want to see all of these, you just click here and it disappears. So there you go. And then you can just click anywhere again and it'll be back. Next, we have this one. This is something, um, I also play Kantai Collection, but this is something they don't have. Basically, you have four teams. Uh, when you start the game, you only get one. But as you move along, you finish uh, missions and expeditions, you get all four, you can unlock them. And you can send them out on trips to get more resources, which is here. So at the moment, there's the timer, and they'll be back in an hour and a half, in about 20, 28, 27 minutes, and the same for number four. So that's it. Next, uh, I'll go here. So this is my name. Or I guess you could also say this is my uh, name of my sage or the name of the castle itself. It, it can be whatever you want, but I guess it's the name of my um, my sage. <laughs> and next we have the resources. These are really, really important, so you have to make sure that you don't spend on them too much. And this is the level of your keep. <clears throat> next, uh, the resources. So we have the steel, coolant, whetstone, and charcoal. You can get them by um, uh, the missions, doing the daily missions, or also going to the maps. Uh, I'll be talking about that more later. And then we have this one. I'll start at the bottom first since it's easier to explain than the rest. So basically we go here, and here we have the background. When you first start playing the game, you get the default background, which is this one. To choose, you just click and press this button, but currently I'm using the summer one, so it's this one. So I'm not going to change it. Um, you can buy all of them through here, so click here and just go here. And, well, I kind of bought all of them, but they're going to appear right on this panel, so you just click on them and purchase. Each of them at the moment is around 30,000 gold. Uh, the gold you can also get through missions and expeditions, and you can have them here. And that's it. Next, we'll go here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, this one is supposed to be the one with the real stuff. If you want to buy stuff that requires real money, so this is it. Uh, I don't recommend buying anything from here because you can definitely get them. Uh, the Emma's, also I kind of made a deal with the devil for a while and bought some of them, that's why. But uh, okay, a quick explanation. Um, the first time you enter the game, there's a one-time sale. And after you buy it, it goes back to the original price. I haven't bought any of these, so I don't know the real price. But for the Emma, here they are. Uh, DMM points. Um, one point is equivalent to one yen, I think. So this is technically 300 yen, right? And then we go here. Um, in my opinion, this is only the things that you should buy on the game. This is for extra slots of the game. When you get into the game, you get 
a total of 50 free slots but that's gonna get full eventually so if you want to buy extra this is it you get 10 free sword slots here uh, this is for I believe this is for um, forge for creating swords but it's not really necessary and this one is for your orbs additional 20 orbs so one time sell is 100 I haven't bought any yet but I guess this one is 100 one time sale so that's it and uh, yeah these are like a um, deal but mm, I don't really buy any of these you can definitely get them in the game if you're patient enough and lastly these are your current resources or stuck stocks I'm sorry <laughs> so here we have the charms uh, I forget what this was for <laughs> you have the Emma's and your help tokens this is new, I forget, but this is something like uh, that will increase their morale or make them, you know, feel much more better when they are exhausted. And these are your gold. Uh, this is like small size gold or in Kantai collection, the furniture box and you have the medium and the large one. You can just click on it to claim them, but I'm not going to do that yet because I don't really need them. And we go here. So these are all... This is like the album of all the swords you were able to acquire. So here is the total number of swords you got and this is the swords that you have here and you can just go ahead and uh, check them out and like that. If you have a missing sword though, it's gonna be like this one but since I was able to luckily get them all then it's no problem. This is here. If you click on this basically what happens is that it's gonna get rid of all the swords you didn't get and just show the swords you acquired so here we go next uh yeah this is all the sword types so uh dagger okay i'm just gonna read the, the ones that i know so tanto wakizashi uchigatana tachi odachi yari and naginata and of course this one is all and then here is the recollections so these are when you bring two swords at certain map they're gonna remember all the things that happened to them at the past and they're gonna talk about it a bit some of them are sad some of them are kind of funny <laughs> mostly sad though and that's it next oh i'm sorry next uh, we go this one and this is like your record. Record. so as you can see this is your name your level and this is your experience I believe this is uh, when you started playing the game, I think, and your server. And then here are your records. So this is currently your number of sword slots available and the number of swords you have. And the total, I forget the meaning of the rest though. And this one is, I believe, the recollection that you've gotten. Um, all of these you can find the translation on the English wiki, so don't worry about it. Next, we go here. This is the missions. These are all the main missions. You can find the English translation as well in the wiki, so there is no need to worry about them. And also, this is the daily. I haven't finished everything yet, so basically, if you've finished it, it's gonna show this one, which means completed. If not, it's gonna show this one. This one, 80% um, done. This one is 50% done. If it's not done, then obviously there's nothing here. Next, we go here. Okay. This is the chores or task affairs, I forget the name. Uh, what happens here is you just assign certain swords and they will level up. I'll explain more later on another video. Next, we go here. This is, um, people call it refinery. I would prefer to call it tempering your swords. This is where you try to make them stronger, maximizing their stats. I'll explain that as well in another video. Next, this is the repair. So when you first start the game, you get two, like I said earlier. You only get two, and if you want to buy anything, uh, this is it. Uh, repair slot is the best for me. You buy it using your repair. You buy real money to buy the extra two repair slots. It's definitely very useful. I definitely recommend it. Next is the armory. So here is where you create those little orbs. Uh, I'll show it to you on another video, maybe probably the same under the quest. And if you want to take a, take a look at all the orbs you created, uh, when I say 
look all, I mean the extras that you haven't equipped on your swords, you can find them here. And if you want to destroy them, you just click on this. So let's say, um, perhaps this one, I guess? So you click on that, and it's gonna show the amount of resources you'll get back. And you just click on that, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and here is where you create your swords. So if you're new and you want to get um, new swords, you just click on this, and this is your formula. Uh, I'll explain more later and remember this cute little thing. <laughs> and of course, uh, if you want to dismantle some certain swords, you go here. Okay, next, uh, yeah, this one. So this is basically your team. So this is team one. So this is my main, uh, this is currently my team, this is whom I'm trying to level. Next, the team 2 who is out in expedition, 3 and 4. You can get the different teams later when you finish the main missions. And last is this one. So this is the front lines where you need to go somewhere. I'll start here. This is your PvP. And I'll explain that in another page because I kind of finished it. Next is the missions, where you need to send them out to earn your resources and um, other extras like the help tokens and stuff like that. And lastly, this is uh, front lines. This is where you go to the different maps to level and everything else. And lastly, if you want to return to your keep, you just click on this. And ta-da! Pretty much that's it about the game. I hope you were able to get it all and I hope you play this game. The game is definitely a bit dragging at some point and it can be frustrating as well but I can assure you that once you join the game there is no way out. <laughs> so thank you and please play Token Renbu. Bye!